fighting out of the gold corner is the Soundcraft Sabres. Fighting out of the black corner, the SFS comes in with a DLC 2.0 blade and two removable batteries that provide two hours of run time each. Whoop. <laughs> By now, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of tutorials and a lot of information on the Sabre trimmer and you know it's fire. So the next logical question that many of you probably have is, can it compete with the Snap FX? Which one is better and which one is right for me? So if you guys stick around, we're gonna put these two head to head and we're gonna see who the winner is and what is right for you. Fighting out of the gold corner. Weighing in at 204 grams, measuring just under six inches, powered by a brushless motor that delivers quiet, smooth power, sporting its all new hard hitting X Pro blade. Weighing in at 204 grams, measuring just under six inches, powered by a brushless motor that delivers quiet, smooth power. When it comes to charging, you have three options. Whether you plug it in directly, sit it on a stand, or you choose to use the micro USB option, you're gonna have four hours of runtime on a single charge priced at $179. Quick shout out and a quick disclosure, I do get a commission if you choose to purchase the Stylecraft Sabre, but I also will get a commission if you choose to purchase the Snap FX through 614 Barber Supply and use the code Eddie. So with that being said, all things are fair and I'm just giving you guys my honest opinion. Fighting out of the black corner, the Snap FX comes in with a DLC 2.0 blade, two removable batteries that provide two hours of runtime each, weighing in at 234 grams and sporting a brushless motor, sleek design that allows for cleaning out the cam followers. It's priced around $300 and when set up properly, this is the best trimmer that Babyliss has made year to date in my opinion. With the release of these two trimmers, you may be wondering which one is best for you. Well, that's what we're here to figure out and we're gonna figure it out based on three different factors. The factors are performance, runtime, and price. When it comes to performance, these two are neck and neck. They can both put down some laser lines. They can remove bulk with ease. Now the body on the Snap FX is a little bit longer and it might make it a little bit tougher to get into the neck area when kids are starting to kind of like turtle up on you. So that's the thing and it's just a little bit louder, but it's not so loud that I wouldn't want to use it. Which brings me to my next point. The Sabre trimmer is fairly quiet and it's really good for kids who might be like a little bit scared. Technically speaking, they're both the same, all right? This one has a four hour runtime and these are two hours each, which gives you a total of four hours of runtime. If you guys wanna check out a total in-depth review on the Snap FX, you'll notice that I pointed out the fact that this should have a micro USB charging solution on the battery. Because one of the problems you have is they build this as like a travel thing, but you have to tote this around and it's just a little cumbersome. Like it didn't even fit on my bag on the way here. I mean, honestly, I can't even fit this in my bag. I don't have enough space. So like literally if I travel with it, it's, it's like this, it's terrible. When it comes to the Sabres, the Sabres had a little misprint on the box. They actually have a four hour runtime and it says three hours. So don't let that dissuade you. Now, aside from all the batteries and all the other apparatus you need with the Snap FX, this is a lot easier to travel with because you have a bunch of different ways to charge it. So one, I could put it on a stand. Two, I could plug it in directly. Three, I could use a micro USB. Or four, I actually use my little magnetic solution through the micro USB port. So there's four different options there and I feel a lot of confidence when I could take something this small, throw it in my bag and just know that I have a way to charge it when I get where I'm going. All right, when it comes to price, this is pretty straightforward. Babyliss charged me $724 because I bought them in a bundle with the clippers. So that's clipper and trimmer. In total, I basically paid $362 each. I'm not sure what they're actually gonna price them at, but I'm hearing rumors that it's gonna be around $300. So with the $300 price tag versus $179, I'm definitely gonna give the win to the Sabres. All right, you guys, so when it comes to either of these trimmers, you really can't go wrong. But just based on the price, Based on the size of it and based on how quiet it is, um, overall, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give this win to the Sabres. However, if you're a Babyliss fan and you really like these trimmers, you can definitely do this, but it doesn't stop there. The $300 price tag is a lot, but we had to put the gold FX blade on there. That was another $50. And then, you know, we have the battery charging difficulties and toting around that big thing to, to charge them. It's just, it's just not the greatest um, yet. Maybe they'll come out with a better charging solution in the future. I don't know. 
Uh, but as of right now, it's, it's an awful lot of money to get you off the ground with a trimmer. And that's one of the main reasons I'm gonna give this to the Saver. So the Saver is giving you the stand, it's giving you the micro USB, it's giving you pretty much everything that you want out of a trimmer. And one of the little side benefits is Gamma has also released another blade that is just like the Slimline Pro. You guys have seen me working with it lately. And it's just awesome for getting in these tight little areas and doing like really fine detail work. So a huge, a huge jump there in performance. And another thing that I wanna mention before I go is all the X-Pro blades fit across all of our trimmers and they make a huge improvement to any trimmer we put it on. We've put it on an Evo, we've put it on a hitter and they all hit like lasers. So if you guys don't wanna for fork for the new trimmer, you guys can try the new blades and you guys are gonna see a huge boost in performance to pretty much every trimmer uh, that you put that on. And let me know what you vote down below. Uh, drop a comment and let me know which one that you like more, which one are you gonna cop uh, how do you feel about it? And did you like the video? Did you not like the video? Um, let me know. So, all right, you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. We got some dope tutorials coming. Check them out. You can see I'm going to tease you a little bit right here with this one here. But we're going to walk you through the entire process, start to finish. And you guys are going to like it. You're going to learn a lot, hopefully. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Woo!